<laughs> Sorry, was on mute. Uh, hello, good evening. Doing everything good? Yeah, everything good. All right, welcome. Thank you for being early. How was your day today, man? Uh, it was okay. Um, I don't know. This, this week I start my home office week, and I don't know. It's a little bit weird because I really like uh, staying home, but it's a little bit weird because I was alone all day. So yeah. <clears throat> oh, is 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 um is this your first time working from home? No, but. Uh, we have a new agent in our computer, so that is an opportunity to stay in home. And oh, I really I like you. it, but but my sister start, uh, start her first job, and I am alone in my house. So it's okay. a little bit weird, but yeah. All right. It's part of this. Okay. All right. Understandable. All right. So, uh, so, so, what, what do you do exactly? Like, uh, is it the is it a call center? Do you work at a? Do you work in a call center? No, no, no. I am a, I'm a DevOps engineer. You, you're uh, what? I, uh, you're what? I'm sorry. A DevOps engineer. A DevOps engineer. Engineer. What is that? Yes. Uh, it's like. You need to take control of the continuous integration of all the apps. Oh, you mean a developer? But yes, but this is another area. It's a developer, and after that, uh, DevOps. Okay, DevOps. Okay, I've never. It's heard like of that. developer operation. It's the uh, that's the correct name. Oh, got but, it, got it, got it. Uh, yeah, DevOps. Okay. Hey, that sounds that sounds really really interesting. So, is it? Uh, yes. Have you been working there for a long time? Mm, for one year. Yeah, one year. One it's year. It's my first job, and it's a little bit uh, weird because uh, some of my partners work as, a, for example, a middleware. I I don't know anything about that area. But middleware or IT support, for example, and my my position is like a support, but we need to know, um, for example, a uh, Git that it's a controlled version for code, mm -hmm. and it's like a next level, or it's a um, better half to uh, uh to a to a developer. Wow. Okay. Dude, that's awesome. That's an that's an amazing position. Yes, really in the cool. United States, for for example, it's really cool. <laughs> it's really, really good pay in the United States. It, but it, we are you not mean, in the United is... States. <laughs> well, yeah, but but it's well paid here too. In um, like, I. I guess you know they pay more like they pay you more like two thousand dollars a month or something, right? And that's yeah. Usually here, yeah, usually here that's how much you earn, you know. And that would be like way more in the U.S. Like technology, the technology area is well paid everywhere, you know. Yes, yes, that's true. That's totally true. Well, that's amazing, man. That's really, really, really good. All right, and uh, okay, that's awesome. All right, so we're going to give uh, maybe two more minutes so everybody can join. Okay. That's weird, man. Like, I don't know why, you know, not so many people join here. But, yeah, um, that's a very interesting area, man. That's uh, – I think you should continue developing yourself in, in that area, you know? Yeah, it's really cool. I really, I really love it. But at the same time, I, I really want to become a – full developer like a full stack yeah something similar because it's i don't know that area is wow it's really interesting yes yes have you ever um thought about you know having your own uh software developing company 
Well, I tried to create a company with my best friend, but oh no, it's <laughs> it's it's really hard. And at the same time, if you try to do a lot of things at the same time, it's a little bit stressful stressful for the other people. So, well, he was my best friend, but uh -huh. uh, yeah. Was <laughs> okay. He he was your best because friend because of that. Sorry. Okay. He, you say he was your best friend. Yeah, he was because of that. Oh, but okay. It was right. a really so good not... experience. Okay, so yeah. he's not your best friend anymore because of yes that bad experience. I got you. Yes, but it was really really cool because I noticed that I. I didn't know him totally, and mm -hmm. I noticed some things that I, uh, I don't know. It, it was not really cool, but it was good uh, to happen because right now I am okay with my true friends. Mm -hmm. I guess. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. That's that's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, so uh, anyways, welcome, welcome aboard. Good to see you, Maximo. Right, so let's get started. Right, um, and my camera is really like I covered, dude. I don't know if, um, well, you know about this, right? But you can get hacked pretty easily. Um, so I've been hacked before, and I've been, uh, um, oh, really? yeah, I've, I've been, I've been, uh, I've had money stolen from me from, uh, oh. from Binance one day, you know. Oh, okay, so yeah. So yeah, you, you can get hacked pretty easily. So sometimes you know I cover like my laptop, right? I cover the camera because of because of that. Um, yeah. Because you never know, right? There is uh yeah. there, there was like my best friend had his uh computer was like his computer was like really really slow, right? We wanted to um he wanted to play a video game and but but it was running like really really slow. So. It turned out, you know, there there is this um, there is this process from Windows called conhost, and it's a valid process from Windows. Yeah. And um, so the thing is that it was weird that we were, you know, Windows when you press like win the Windows key plus the, the G key opens a yeah. opens a window that shows you that uh, that it's a game mode the the Xbox uh, window, right? So you can okay. see the the resource oh, yeah, that yeah. you're using and everything, right? So you could see that Conhost was using uh, his video card had four gigs, so he was using four the, the the whole four gigs, even though he was not doing okay. anything on his computer, you know. So okay. he was he, he was using it he was using it all. So mm -hmm. um, someone was uh, mining Bitcoin or exact, something. Exact, exactly. <laughs> so Windows was not detecting it. Windows was not was not detecting okay. this 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 um Trojan right so that this was a, a Trojan, uh -huh. um and uh, every time that I opened the task manager, the mm -hmm. program the con host uh, process um ha uh, was was um ha you know hid 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 from from like from my view right mm -hmm. so you could not see if okay. you open the task manager it would disappear. But as soon as you close it, oh. close it, you know, it would come up again. But I was able okay. to see it because they had the, <laughs> the 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 Xbox app open, you know, and it was not yeah. it was not hiding from there. So it was very clever. And okay. Windows Defender was not detecting this virus, so I had to download another another software, and it de detected a lot of um, malware at first. But then you know I was seeing that mm -hmm. it was trained like after you know you had removed the viruses that it encountered encountered before. This one, this one, this one was not um, get was not gotten rid of. So I ran it again, you know, and I it found it and it eliminated it. And then after you know, like I it turned out it was a mining trojan. So mm -hmm. yeah, man, it can it can you know it can get pretty dangerous. Pretty yeah, dangerous. that sounds really Bitcoin. really dangerous. <laughs> they did not Bitcoin cryptocurrency, right? They were mining cryptocurrency from yeah. His computer so his computer was getting like very slow you know and like uh, like it heated a lot you know so mm -hmm. oh, yeah. 
All right. Anyways, so welcome back, uh, Maximo. How was your day today? My day, my day was um, good, teacher. Good. Yes. All right. Very good. Um, what about you, Alejandro? How was it? All right, Luis. How was your day today, sir? Are you driving? Okay. Good, teacher. Thank you. Awesome. Morena, Susana, how no, are you today? I'm, uh, yeah, uh, right term, uh, El Salvador. Oh, wow. Okay. You're in the middle of a flight? Well, I think he is. Yeah, my flight is uh, tonight. Uh, at uh, 9 p.m. Wow, in what country are you? Uh, in Los Angeles. Oh, okay. All right, got it. Okay, well, you know, safe travels. All right. So, anyways, guys, so let's continue. Yesterday, we were talking about asking questions with phrases, right? So, we do have phrases that would allow us to ask questions, such as, do you mind if, would you mind if, could I, would it be okay if, I wonder if, or you, I was wondering if, right? So if you make questions like this, <clears throat> so these are questions that that would make it would make you sound very formal when when speaking, okay? So what I want you to do right now is that I want you to, if you see there are like some words that we have over here, right? And there is a conversation happening here. I want you to fill out the blanks with what you consider you know, the right word for each of these scenarios, right? And this includes this part as well. So do me a favor. Um, I want you to take a screenshot and please send it to the group. So can anybody do that for me, please? Take a screenshot and send it to the group. To the WhatsApp group, okay? So we can start solving these, these uh, questions. Hey, and what happened to uh, what happened yesterday? Morena, Susana, what? I think I know. I think Morena, you were here, right? Yesterday. Yes, yes, I was here. A lot but of people were missing yesterday. Yeah, it raining. Uh, yesterday it rained, raining very, very uh, as a storming. I think or electricity storming. Oh, that's oh yeah, that makes sense. I was like, why is nobody here? You know. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Okay, got it, got it, got it. All right, very good. So, guys, um, do me a favor. Have you have you taken a screenshot and and uh, sent it to the WhatsApp group? Yes, I received the the this week. Okay, don't. Okay, hold on. I got. Okay, Alejandro sent it. Okay, take a screenshot for this one too. All right, and let's start solving it. So take a screenshot again, maybe Alejandro, and send it to the group. Oh, that's another one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's another one, yes. I think you got it. Yeah, we got them all, right? Okay, so you're gonna choose, you know, whatever word you consider to be necessary here, okay? So if you have questions, I'll be there. Um, I'll be looking into, I'll be checking your, your breakout rooms and let me know if you have any questions, all right? So let's go. Okay. I'm gonna give you, I think we can finish this in 10 minutes so we can start with the next topic, okay? All right, so, okay. so let's go and let's join. All right, let's join, guys. So let's work oh, on it. Oh, Susana and Julio, okay. Okay, let's, let's work on it, guys. I'm going to check on the other guys, okay? Okay. Okay. 
Hey guys, so let's start working on this. Okay. Uh, call Mark. Would you like? Would you like? Bye. Would you like send me those image attachment again? Yes, Hello. Mm. Hello, the, I'm not sure the first about one, the that. first one, Omar, would you like would you like oh, sending no. those email attachment again? In Mark no. oh. Of course. Of course. Curves is the Luis, second what one. do you think in the first one? Like, right? Would you like in the second one? Yeah, for me, second one. Which which do you consider is that is correct in the second one? Of course not. Of course not. Mm -hmm. I will go and do it now. Thank you. See you later. Oh no, Ben, are you busy? No, not at the moment. Cool. Can you help me? Can you help me? Can you help me? The turn one. Is can you help me? And for me, the the fourth, it would be problem. Number three, can you help me? Sure, no problem. How can I help you? Okay. What do you think? Yeah, for me, sure, no problem. How can I? To me. Yes. But, I don't know. You can you can use uh, two words. Of, okay. Of, I think, I think, of course, it's okay. Thank you. Okay. And are you busy? No, not that much. Can no. Um, can you help me? Right? Can. Can. <clears throat> Yes. Sorry. Could you? Could you? Could you help me? Uh, yes. Could you help me or can you help me? I think could you can use could when it's uh, more formal. I think. Yes, but um, just let me. See something. No, oh, those words are the the same for the for a screenshot. Okay. Okay. Yes. Cook. Uh, sure. No problem. Sure. Problem. Problem. It is ours. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Number four. Okay, uh, number four, number one. Nicole wants to, okay. We have one is attachment. Oh, the first one is completed, okay. Find it, I still have them. You want to practice this uh, after complete the full conversation or we can do it? Uh, complete the second. Okay. Okay. Second, do you have a moment? Yes. What can I do yes. for for you? Is there any any chance? 
any chance mm -hmm. you could go to me. Yes. I'm not I sure. Am... Not sure, not sure. Oh, no, sure. Yeah, not sure. I can, I have an extra appointment after work. Okay, I'm not sure. Sounds, sounds great to me. Yes. I'm not really sure if we can use two words. I can, I have other. Um, I think I'm sure. I can't. Uh, oh, I'm not sure. Because no, because we use not before, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, yes, if we really, mm -hmm. yes. Or I don't know. No, yes, no, no, sorry, no, no, it's okay. Not sure, it's okay. Sorry. Yes, because if I say that I'm not sure because I have to use because, but yes, I'm sure. Okay, okay what about on Friday? Um, do you work late then? I really need your help. What about on Friday? We already use gold, no? So we can use can? Can or could, I think. But yes, could. but we already used could in the last one. Mm -hmm. Could. In the last... Well, it's like, no. Hey, what's up, guys? How are you doing? We're about to finish. Oh, all right, we're right. finished. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, one more thing. Would you mind? Do you mind? Uh, give me. Give me. Teacher. Tell teacher, me, we, tell can, me. Uh, we can repeat the, the words? Or no? Can you repeat the words? I I yeah. um I think so yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So but the number, number eight, eight, right? Yes, sure or okay, but I don't see. Okay. <laughs> no. Yeah. Sure. It could be okay. Okay. Sure. That's fine. Thanks. Thanks very much. Oh, one more thing. Do you mind? Do you mind? Oh, you're reading. <laughs> Sorry, I think uh, uh, he was asking so fun you... for something. Sorry? No, I think he was uh, asking for something. Sorry. Uh, but you was reading. <laughs> Do you mind giving? No, do you mind? Do you mind? Giving this kiss to Jason. Yes, giving. Uh -huh. No. Uh, no, sorry. No, 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 no. Yes, yes. no problem, no, no. no problem at all. Sorry, no I didn't problem. read the... The rest of the conversation, no problem, no problem at all. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Actually, Nicole, I also have a request. Really? What is it? Do you? All right, so we're gonna go back now, guys and girls. Okay. Sorry. We're gonna go back now. Oh, okay. But number 11. <laughs> you. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what about on Friday? 
uh, but we need to complete the the space. Yes, sure, sure, sure. Thanks. All right. Fine. So let's take a look at. All right, sure. Welcome back, guys. Okay, let's take a look at the. Let's take a look at the answers. Right. Let's see what we got here. All right. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's see what um, what answers we got here. Okay. So Nicole says, uh, "Who would like to help me read Nicole?" Go ahead. Yes, so so let's go. I I need to well, I need someone, right? So do you have a moment? Yes, I what 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 can I do for you, right? So Nicole says, what is the answer here, guys? What is Nicole's answer? Is there, is there, is there any chance? Sorry. Go ahead. Is there any chance? Is there any chance? Work late tonight? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there any chance you could work you could, late tonight? You could work late tonight. All right. We can say that, right? Is there any chance you could work late tonight? That is actually the right answer. Chance. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. So next one. Okay. So what's the answer for the next one? Sorry. I am sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry? Uh-huh. I can. I have a doctor's appointment after work good job right sorry i can't I have a doctor's appointment after work all right um so next we have okay what about on friday could could you work late then would you work the, late in the, them yeah could all right so that would be good okay next one Yes, uh, sure, that's fine. Yes, yeah, sure. Then we have, thanks very much. Um, oh, one more thing. Do you mind? Giving this kiss. Do you mind giving this kiss to Jason? Very good, right? Try to pronounce it well, guys, because otherwise you're saying, hey, te importaría darle este beso a Jason, right? No. Right. Okay. What about on Friday? Right. I'm sorry. Do you mind giving this uh these keys keys, keys to Jason? Jason. Keys. Right. Very good. Do you mind giving these keys to Jason? Keys. Okay. Very good. Notice that after do you mind we have to use a gerund. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So a gerund. Okay. Good job. Um. No. All right. What is the next one? No problem at all. Actually, Nicole. I also have a request. Okay, all right. Yes, no, no, no problem at all. Right? No problem, no problem at all. Okay, and uh what about what about the next one? Could you could you could you think? Do you think? Do you think you could give me a raise? Okay, good job. All right, next one. I would like to. I would like to. But you've I... only been working here a month. All right, very good. So i like to, right? I'd like to, but you've only been here for a month. Ask me again in three months, right? All right, and... Um... Let's see. Oh, I think that was the second one, right? So let's go with the first one. <laughs> All right, you still, yeah, right, you got it. Okay, now the first one says, Mark, <laughs> would you? Would you mind? Would you mind? mind? Would you mind, right? So that would be, would you mind sending these emails, right? So again, we're using a gerund after. Send these emails. Right? Of, of what? Of course not. I'll go. I'll go. And do it now, right? Thank you. See you later. Mm -hmm. Oh no, Ben, are you busy? No, not at the moment. Uh, so Mark says, "Can you help me? Can you help me, right? Yeah. And then sure. No problem. Problem. No problem, right? How can I help? 
right? Nicole wants me to send those email attachments again, and I can't find them can't. anywhere. I still have them. I'll email them to you Didn't now. Thanks. Right. Good job, guys. Email. Okay, Thanks. you got it. Congratulations. You won zero dollars. But congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, anyways, do we have any questions here? Yes. Tell me. In the number ten. Oh, number ten. Mm -hmm. Yes. I I I place not not no not, not at, at all. all. Yeah, it's not at all. Yes, not. Right. And I uh have -huh, because I hear that someone say problem and you said problem too. Oh, I I might have gotten confused with that person. No, it's no, not at all. Not. Oh, okay. Not at all, right? I I think somebody said no problem, no problem at all, or something like that. I mean that would be okay, right? But yeah, it makes sense if you say here, not at all. Okay. Okay. So this is fine. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Okay. So, all right. Any other question, ladies and gentlemen? No. All right. So the next topic that we got before before we proceed, guys, let me make a brief pause. Uh, guys, how are you doing with the platform progress? Yesterday, I asked the people who came here, right? But most of you were not here. Could you tell me if you have finished section one, two, three uh, in the midterm? Because I saw the message that Ingles Cooperativo sent you, right, about the completion. So so have you have you finished all those sections? Or who I'm about missing? to finish the section three. three. All right, yes. very good. You need to have finished, guys. Okay, I'm going to say this in Spanish, guys. Okay. Es súper importante que termines la sección 1, 2, 3 y el midterm antes de que termines esta semana, ¿ok? La otra semana, incluso la 4 que tienen que terminar hoy. En la otra semana solo les queda la sección 5 para terminar ustedes, ¿right? ¿Got it? So it's really, really, okay. really important. ¿Ok? I am in okay. the first one. You're in the first one, oh my God. Yeah, no, you need to hurry up. You need to, you need to complete it all. To complete them all. Is there any? Is there anybody else, guys, falling behind? Like, is there anybody who has not completed section three in the midterm yet? Or is everybody up to date? All right. So I'll trust you. Okay, I'll trust you that you completed. Okay. Remember that classes are uploaded online so we go over the answers in the class so if you wanted to go ahead and look at the answers from the some questions from the platform right you can go ahead and uh, look at them online okay so anyways let's move on uh because our next topic is very important and very interesting this uh, this one is a very interesting topic actually okay so we're going to talk about something that's called indirect questions okay in spanish this would be translated as you know preguntas con escuela Nah, I'm kidding. That's not how we translate it. I'm kidding, right? <laughs> so no, indirect questions, right? So let's uh, learn how to use, you know, indirect questions, which is the objective for today. So, uh, so what is an indirect question? Tell me. What would you consider an indirect question? When when you ask another person, when you that, ask another person, do that question. Okay. When you ask another person to make the question, okay. All right, kind of. What else? What else? Mm -hmm. What else is an indirect question? So we're gonna ask so him as Maximo when you ask someone uh, to ask something to someone else. Okay. All right, kind of, right? So basically, guys, they do not follow the structure of a direct question. 
So for example, if I say, hey, do you, do you, do you like pizza, right? If you said, do you like pizza? Do you think that this is a direct or, in the, or indirect question? Direct. 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 It's a direct question, right? Direct. Exactly, right? Yes. So now, if I said, you know, um, could you, you know, Could you tell me if John likes Papa John's? Now, pizza. Papa John's pizza, mm -hmm. right? Could you tell me if John likes Papa John's pizza? What about this? Is this a direct or indirect question? Indirect. Indirect, indirect question. Now, this is not exactly an indirect question, guys. This is an it's indirect, indirect request. Okay. Okay. Request. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So we're gonna see that. Okay. All right. If I said, guys, if I said, I was, you know, I was wondering if you could come to the party with me, right? Now this is a direct question, an indirect question, right? We're not even using a question mark at the end. Because it's a sentence, but it's a question. This is an example of a direct question, okay? But we're gonna see indirect requests right now. All right, so let me bring out the whiteboard then. Let's take a look at some of the example for, examples of indirect requests, okay? Direct requests. Okay, so let's say, let's see that we got, let's say that, um, Let's have some statements, okay? You know what statements are? Give me a statement. Something that is true or not true. All right, let's see. Um, what is your absolute favorite food? Morena? Mm, statement. Morena has my... Keys? Okay, Morena has my keys, okay? So, we're gonna say, right, that was Maximum, Maximum, I guess, right? So, Max said, right? Max said, you know, Morena has my keys, right? This is a statement. Now, this is yes. in the present, right? This is in the present, but it could be in any tense, right? But it is a statement. Okay. Something that is true or not true, right? But it is a statement. Okay, now, Morena has my keys, okay? How can we turn this into a an indirect request? We can use the phrases that we learned before, okay? So we can say <clears throat> some of the phrases that can, we can use. Can you ask, Morena? Right, you can say, could you, right? Could you, you could say, would you? You can say, can you? Mm -hmm. Could right. you ask Morena? Okay. So you can say, so so Max said Morena has my keys, right? Uh, could, could, could say, Diego ask Morena? Could, could Diego, could Diego, Diego ask, ask Morena? Tell or ask, right? Ask Morena. If, what? If, right? If, if what? She. If she has, she, she, she uh, has Maximus my keys. keys. If she has my or Maximus keys, keys right? Max kids keys. Okay. Keys. All right. Question mark. Right. Could Diego ask Morena? Right. Now let's pretend that you are making the request. Right. Could you? You could say, could you ask or could you tell? Right. Right. Um, could you tell Marina if she if she has Max's keys? Well, could you ask, right? Could you ask Marina if she, you know mm -hmm. if she has Max's key, keys, right? Okay, very good. You could say that, right? Um, uh, what would be another statement? You could say 
I don't know, let's say that Diego says, you know, um, that um, maybe he says, you know, I want to become um, an astronaut. Really? An astronaut. Okay. I want to become an astronaut. <laughs> right? So, let's say that, you know, let's pretend he said this, right? Okay. How could how could we turn this into an indirect request? Oh, sorry. Become man. Okay. So, how could we do this? You can say, could you, right? Could you or can you, right? Mm -hmm. Could you tell Jennifer? Could you tell Jennifer, Diego, right? Now, remember that Diego said, I want to become an astronaut, right? So we're not going to use mm -hmm. I anymore because we're going to talk about Diego, right? Where we are something yeah. that's called in scientific terms as chambroso okay so we're chambrosos right so we, we're gonna say could you tell jennifer diego diego what something very interesting is gonna happen here wants to become wants to become once right so we use once so we're gonna use this mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. why wants, wants to become to an become astronaut an astronaut right an astronaut astronaut could you tell Jennifer, right, that Diego wants to become an astronaut? Okay, now something you're gonna notice that you can say this in two in two ways. Could you tell Jennifer Diego or could you tell Jennifer that Diego wants to become mm -hmm. an astronaut? Okay. Now this is a this is a question, of course. It is an indirect request, right? And you can use that, but it's optional, okay? So you can decide to use it or not or not use it, right? This is working as a relative pronoun, okay? So, um, okay, what else can we say? Mm -hmm. Let's have another statement. Tell me something, you know, what is your favorite, what's your favorite food? Um, Morena, what's your favorite food? Um, ribs. What? Ribs. Ribs. You mean rice? No, ribs. Ribs. Ribs? Oh, ribs. Mm -hmm. Oh, ribs. 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 Yes. Ribs, okay, very good. So... I'm going to say, right, so Morena likes ribs, okay? So what are we going, so how can we turn this into an indirect question? I mean, into, into an indirect request, sorry. You know what? Let's do this, okay? You are going to transform this. You follow the examples that I gave you. You're going to do this in your notebook, and then I'm going to ask, okay, Morena likes ribs. I'm going to say, um, Maradona, Maradona was a very healthy soccer player that never did drugs, okay? <laughs> right? Very good. Uh, and I'm going to say to, you know, uh, the Matrix. No, you know what? Um, fried beans with cheese is delicious. Okay. And I'm also going to say... Mm. 
Um, I like riding motorcycles. Okay. And another one would be um, fast and furious. Well, you know what? The, the fast and furious. Um, the Fast and Furious saga mm. is like the reggaeton. I don't know how to spell reggaeton, guys, or whatever. Of movies. Okay. So, all right. So, I want you, all right. So, I'm going to give you perhaps five minutes to come up with indirect requests following these sentences okay these these statements okay so do them in your notebook and i'm gonna ask you in five minutes right okay, okay good. let's go